Today we're looking at the Saunders Cervical Traction Unit. I'll give you my review of this unit and my thoughts as a physical therapist. So if you have neck pain or radiating symptoms down your arm and your healthcare provider is recommending that you consider a home cervical traction unit like this one, stick around because I think you'll find this review to be helpful. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. I'm Tim Fraticelli, I'm a physical therapist. And on this channel, we talk about physical therapy career, technology, and product reviews to relieve your aches and pains. And for certain kind of neck pain, cervical traction can be really a helpful way to relieve symptoms. Cervical traction units like this one provide decompression to the spine and help to relieve pressure associated with pinched nerves, arthritis, stenosis of the spine, herniated discs, headaches, muscle aches, and overall joint stiffness at the neck. And while cervical traction is helpful for a lot of diagnoses, there are certain conditions or symptoms where cervical traction is just not appropriate. And we call these things contraindications, and they include diagnoses or symptoms such as spinal instability, fractures, rheumatoid arthritis, spinal cord compression, tumors or malignancies, infections and inflammatory disease, acute or traumatic injury, and other conditions that could be worsened by movement. Obviously, you should check with your doctor or physical therapist to see if cervical traction is right for you, but let's assume that your doctor has cleared you for cervical traction. Now it's time to find a device that's going to help provide some relief. Now, the challenging part about finding medical devices today is that more and more options are popping up, and while I'm generally a fan of competition and generic options at times because it usually means finding lower prices, it becomes a safety issue if we start to compromise quality for cheaper products. And, and if you've done some research on the Saunders Cervical Traction Unit, you know that it's not cheap, but you also know that it's one of the most well-known brands when it comes to home traction units out there on the market. Personally, I think it's because they have a strong reputation of producing well-built, high-quality products that are easy to use, portable, and effective. I'm not saying the other options for cervical traction aren't effective, but this is the unit that I've used in the clinic for years, and I've had success with it when teaching patients how to use the device, and also, I personally think it's one of the most comfortable units on the market when you're talking about cervical traction. Okay, let's talk about how to use the unit. Saunders has made this really pretty simple to use. When you remove it from the case, you should find that it's all in one piece and it should lay flat on the ground or a firm surface. Now this device has two adjustable neck wedges that can be controlled with the small knobs at the base of the unit. Rotating these knobs will move the wedges closer to the neck so it fits snug against the neck just below the base of your head or your occiput. The head strap should be placed just above your eyebrow and secured on both ends by the Velcro attached to the strap. The unit is controlled by the hand pump, which includes a gauge that displays how much pressure is actively decompressing your neck. Now this is where it's important to follow the instructions by your healthcare provider as they may recommend that you start with 15 pounds of pressure and work your way up to 25 to 30 pounds of pressure. You'll notice three positions on the hand pump to hold, pump, and release. Position it to pump in order to increase the pressure and rotate it to hold in order to sustain the pressure for the recommended time. Simply turn it to release to decrease the pressure. If you find that the pressure starts to lower as you are uh, going through decompression, it's possible that you are just relaxing uh, because this thing is made not to leak. And so if you're finding that it lowers, just add a little bit of pressure to it and then put it back onto lock and then resume the rest of your decompression time. When it comes to length of time for using decompression, it's important to progress gradually as it can take a couple of days to get used to the treatment. I generally recommend that my patients start with three to five minutes on the first day and then increase the time to eight to 10 minutes on the second day as long as the treatment was well tolerated. If they experience more pain or increased soreness in the neck, I have them wait to check with me in the clinic as a follow-up before they resume decompression. With the Saunders unit, you'll find an adjustment on the back of the unit which changes the overall angle of the device. In the current position, it has an angle of 15 degrees. The middle notch raises the angle to 20 degrees, and the highest position with the notch on the bottom positions it to 25 degrees. Generally, the first position is considered neutral, but raising it to the 20 or 25 degree position may feel more comfortable depending on your neck or body composition. All right, so that's a brief look at the Saunders Home Traction Unit. I personally find it to be effective for reducing neck pain with appropriate diagnoses. And I'm very fortunate to have access to a unit like this in the clinic, especially if I'm experiencing neck pain, uh, because these units are quite expensive at about $300 new and $150 used online. Uh, it's certainly cheaper than taking days off work for neck pain or paying for expensive medical procedures when a decompression technique like this may be just as effective. So as always, check with your doctor or physical therapist before using any device like this. And if you found this video to be helpful, I would love it if you gave it a like. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.